Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a giant mole guide for free to play RuneScape. It just got released today. Okay, let's get right into it. The first thing you want to have is at least around level 70 stats to kill it. At least in like magic or melee or, or range. And uh, you want 43 prayer for protect from melee. Have your combat bar look something like this. This is, might not be the best right now, but it just came, the update just came out, so... Also, if you have those uh, stuff from the World Event, you can use those. Those are actually good, but I don't have them. Uh, you want to be wearing a rune for melee at least. I have double gravites because I just got released. Uh, Explorer's ring. But if you don't have this, you can get like team cape, emulator strength, um, ring of potency, and then just use rune for this. And as and my uh, inventory, I have. Strength potion, defense potion, and attack potion, and some lobsters, and that thing. And uh, for a quick, like, tip, kind of, since there's no, you can't restore your prayer anywhere around here. If you pray at the uh, Edgeville Monastery, where is it? Where is it? Okay, if you pray, if you use the prayer altar over there, and it's gonna give you a plus 20 prayer boost, so I have 530 points and then I have 51 prayer. So it gives you a small boost. Okay, now we're at, um, to start the giant mole, you wanna be right here. It's right south of the lodestone, and it's like easy to get to. Now once you do that, we're just gonna go ahead and go into here. I'm gonna switch this to one, cause I'm soloing it. You can do it with a lot of people though, but not much money. So, here we go. Practice mode. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it on normal mode for now. Um, what the hell is this? Okay. Well, actually, let's see. Um, let's see giant mole. So you can get a dragon 2 H. Actually, you can't. But you can get mole skin, the mole nose. You can get a clingy mole, which is, the price is gonna skyrocket because that's what's gonna help free to play defeat King Black Dragon. It actually boosts the um, anti dragon shield's power. And there's some other stuff you can get, and you can get like not the best money, but for free to play, it's the only option you have. Except for King Black Dragon, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Here we go, and join. Oh, time to start. Here we go. Okay, now we're down here. You also got a free task completed for going down here, and you want to just go straight out here. Now, before I attack the mole, I'm just going to tell you. Okay, first of all, it has 78,000 HP, level 230. But it's not that strong. Let's look at the minimap for a second. Okay, you see five rooms around here. Now, in each, once you attack the mole enough, it's going to start, it's going to move around the rooms. And each, in each room, it gets a special attack or defense. And then eventually, it will come back here, and it gets to use all five of them, which is like the final battle. Now I'm just gonna, instead of wasting your time, I'm just gonna talk about it as we go through attacking this mole. Now let's see, this is my first time actually doing this, but it shouldn't be that bad. Also you want to probably bring an escape, so if you don't have the explorer's ring, bring the uh, dungeoneering ring, so, so you can teleport away in case anything happens. Let's get right into it, let's pot up. Let's go. And protect from melee. Okay, you see, it went it went down here somewhere. So I just want to follow it around. And here you have some mini moles around there too. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna use this. Oh, if it not comes, you wanna run. So, it's just. You basically just use your keyboard and mouse buttons. And it's going around. Probably wanna turn off your prayer and save it. Because you can't really restore it anywhere, any place that's close by. Oh, and these things come up here too. So, that helps. 
Uh, oh, I want to. Yeah, you want to get out of that. Okay. Oh shit. Let's just eat up one potion. See, this is not really taking me that much damage or anything like that, so it's all right. Uh, I just keep, I just keep forgetting to do that. Okay, she went somewhere else now. I think she went up here. I wasn't even paying attention this time, but let's see. I saw there's some mini moles, baby moles. Those don't really do anything, except when the room you actually have to fight her. Where did she go? Did she go here? She didn't. Okay, I don't even know where she went. It's kind of my bad. Uh, let's just go ahead and try and find her. Where did she go? She must have been over here. Yeah, there she is. Okay, just keep on and protect for melee. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that the boss is non aggressive. So you can, like, watch people do it and not get attacked. Can I be stunned? Okay, you want to stun it as soon as that boss comes up. And you want to use that, this, um, this. This attack, it does a lot of damage to you, slaughter. I think it's probably the best attack on free to play. Okay, now she's going through this room, it seems. I'm, st I'm only using one prayer to save it, so I can hopefully do it two times. Yeah, she went over here. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yeah, you have the mini moles, so you want to use this attack. It'll kill all of them. I forgot what it's called. Oh, that's a lot of moles. You want to use this? It's going to kill all the moles at the same time. Because if you don't kill the moles, then you're going to die. Because that actually does a lot of damage to you. Also, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, oh, all these mini moles. Damn. I want to focus them first. I'll just use this. Kill them all. You probably want to stay above 2,000 HP when you're killing this thing. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy, this boss. I think because the servers are kind of flooded right now since everyone's trying to do it. Anyways. Oh, and okay, now it's going to the center. It's like the final battle. One thing I forgot to mention was that if you see those bones over there, if you have the dungeoneering necklace, you can actually restore your prayer like that way. But I don't at the moment because I bought these gravites instead. So. You want to use this flurry thing to kill all of them. Because they empower them all. Come on, die. Okay, there we go. Let's see what I get from this. Ah, she moved. Shit, 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 shit. Phew, that was close. Fa, 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 fa. Shit. Oh, my, my prayer. It's off. Why'd it come off? Oh, God. So, this final battle is actually kind of hard. And I'm going to try doing it on hard mode next. I think that might use all my food up. Okay, let's see what I get. Okay, iron ore. 40 of these. Moleskin, 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 big bones. Let's do a price check on this real quick. Add these up. So, I just said, so I did, this took me about 5 minutes to do and I got 37k. Also, it gave me, I think, 2000 experience. Let's check the, let's check the, oh yeah, and it spawns really quickly. So, I think, yeah, if you have the twisted bird skull necklace, that's going to be really good here because you can restore your prayer. But if not, then you want to use this. Let's check the rune thing. I think you can just do something. I forgot. I don't even know how to use it. It's a new feature. Metrics drops. Um, let's see here. Notes. Rune metrics. Here we go. I think I can show me XP. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with this shit. So basically, now you know how to kill them all. It's not that hard. It's like you just try to, you just need to dodge the attacks and just use your prayer. And besides that, there's not much else to it. Each of these are pretty good. It's actually a common drop.
So that's that. See you in the next one, which is going to be King Black Dragon. So watch out for that.